Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick update on my YouTube tearing fix video, uh, and thanks to everybody who's been involved in it. There's been some great comments in there as well. Uh, so if I, let's just pause it and go down through the comments. I pinned one of them, uh, which was from Anonymous. So Anonymous uh, said, a much safer approach, though this is just a desktop automatic startup run file, would be to rename the file instead of deleting it, rm equals remove. So sudo mv. Uh, so you can follow that if you like. And I think I replied to it, but also someone else. Uh, but then the other one I got today, uh, which looked interesting, was this one from Nico Balik. Same thing achieved by Terminal. Uh, and this looks like a super easy way of doing it. Uh, and so I thought I'd give that a try today. I've also been suggested to try the tearing test video. So let's try that out. And this is running on my... Uh, I've got videos on this version of Raspbian from ages ago, uh, which, which the first one I did on an SSD drive. So this is running on SSD and it's running at 2147. So let's try this tearing test first of all. And let's, to be fair, let's go full screen. And go to 1080. So at 2147 with an SSD drive, you can see that the tearing is definitely present uh, and really not good. So let's quit out of that. Do control alt T and then put in sudo raspi dash config. And then we're going down from Nico Bellic's instructions, going down to advanced options and then going down to compositor, selecting no, Okay, and I guess maybe I don't need to reboot for that. Hit finish, oh, would you like to reboot now? So yes. Okay, so we're back in and let's go back to Chromium and type in YouTube. This runs so fast, this, this SSD at 2147, it really is nice to use uh, and then uh, tearing test, screen tearing test, go full screen, and we're on 1080 I'm guessing, yes we are, so I need to stop using the mouse and wait for, oh, let's get rid of this advert, you see when you use the mouse, see the tearing is really bad, but now I stop using the mouse, and the tearing is not there. You get that judder, uh, well, it depends what monitor you're looking at, but you get that certain amount of judder from the speed that it is. But it's not doing the tearing. Very impressive. Let's have a look at some with a bit of movement as well. And stop using my mouse. Yeah, perfect. So the other thing I wanted to uh, show was, so the other thing I wanted to show uh, was from first name, last name, they just pointed out to me, because uh, I did a video on Pi Images, of, yeah, so on this video, uh, which was Pi Imager versus Belena Etcher. Let's skip the advert. and have a look down the bottom. There you go. So you can also use Raspberry Pi Imager from in Ras within Raspbian itself. I did try this a while ago and it didn't work, but now uh, typing in sudo apt update and install Raspberry Pi Imager. So let's go back to my desktop, control alt T for terminal, paste that in and hit return. Hit yes. Super quick. Right, so now if I go into the start and what was it under? Accessories, I think it was, yeah. Then you've got the Raspberry Pi Imager. And the Raspberry Pi Imager, I've, I've actually saved some SD cards. I mean, I've got another method uh, with Windows and the command prompt to 
to wipe off a memory card that you're having trouble with. But this is actually, uh, I had a, a 64 gig card which I used in my Windows 10 video, which just formatting with this worked brilliantly. So format card as FAT32 uh, actually fixed a card that I'd had trouble. I tried loads of different methods and couldn't get it working. Writing it with that seemed to work fine. So Raspberry Pi Imager is there. The only thing I would change about it is if I do select custom image, uh, I don't seem to have a way, and there may be a way of doing this. Um, actually, maybe there is a way of doing this. Let's try. So if, because I keep my images on my NAS drive. So I keep them in here and the public. So a network attached storage drive. Uh, just because there's not usually enough room on the, the SD card and it's nice to have them all in one place. Yeah, so this is where I keep uh, some of my images that I'm working on at the time. So I wonder, can I, can I copy that? Yeah, it doesn't look like you can paste in there. New folder. So that's my only thing. No. Is that I don't seem to have a way of getting to my NAS drive, which I can do with Belena Etcher, and I'll show you that on my Mac in a minute. Um, but really appreciate it being in this operating system. So what it means is that if you've got uh, two SD cards and just got a Raspberry Pi, haven't got a Windows, haven't got a Mac, haven't got anything else to be able to write it, you can then open up a whole world of images you can do because you can download custom images uh, from from the web uh, and there's loads of them about. Uh, so things like RetroPie and, and uh, you know various different builds of operating systems, you can still download and then you can use your Pi with Raspbian to write that image and you can try out Ubuntu and all sorts of other things. So it means that if the only computer you've got is a Pi, actually there's not a lot of restriction now. Uh, we've got amazing YouTube playback, we've got great browser performance, uh, file management, it, it's becoming, well, it's become uh, a really viable computer. So let's go over to my Mac and I'll just show you what I mean about writing the image but from my NAS drive because for me that's, that's more handy um, and if it could be added to the Raspberry Pi imager that would be a great addition. So I always have a lot of SD cards on the go because I try so many images out and sometimes I haven't finished with them and I go on to the next image but uh, all I do is I pick my SD card pop it into this USB adapter, which appears in one of my videos. The reason I use this is because it works with my iPad uh, using this lightning to USB adapter, which is brilliant. Uh, and that's how I often overclock, or if I'm adding images, uh, I'll often use my iPad just because it's on and it's handy. Uh, but then I'll pop that in the computer, and let's switch to screen capture. Okay, so I've got my USB stick in. If I select Belena Etcher and go to select image, you'll see that on my Mac, it comes up with WD MyCloud, which is my NAS drive. Uh, and then after a few seconds, it will log in and I can go to public and Pi images. And there you can see if I wanted to write an image, say that Lubuntu, uh, or I've got my Ubuntu, my 10 images, which I'm gonna make an upload I'll put it in the description of this video. Uh, this is my 10 Ubuntu's uh, using Ubuntu 20.04 uh, and I've uploaded it to Google Cloud and the password is Lee PSP video, uh, so my YouTube channel. But if you select that, you can select it from the NAS drive uh, and then I can select my image which has already been picked because there's an SD card in there. I'm not gonna write this because I haven't looked at my list to see what's on this card. But then if I hit flash, it will write it from my NAS drive. So it means that I don't have to keep it on my Mac. Uh, and so if that could be added to the Raspbian Pi imager to be able to write images from a NAS drive, it would certainly help me a lot. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope this all helps. Please like and subscribe.